International roaming scam by T-Mobile targets American tourists. T-Mobile USA put the safety and security of a U.S. journalist traveling in Turkey in jeopardy by abruptly cutting off international roaming services, only to punish this customer was actually using its services. T-Mobile customer service experts tell furious mobile phone customers in the United States that they are obsessed with good customer experience, but are disconnecting mobile finesse for using roaming services while traveling internationally. The Big Lie by T-Mobile. Travel with T-Mobile. Whether it's across the country or across the globe, your phone just works. No setup. No data roaming fees. No hidden charges. T-Mobile website. We're customer obsessed. It's what inspires us and drives us to look for new ways to keep you seamlessly connected to what you love. A big lie by T-Mobile lie. T-Mobile promises customers in the United States its international roaming partners will provide unlimited basic data that's 2x faster than before in 215 plus countries and destinations. For $50 a T-Mobile customer in the U.S. can buy an international access pass for 30 days providing high-speed access to international roaming and free phone calls. E-Turbo News associate Dimitro Makarov thought this was an excellent opportunity to stay in touch with friends and family while traveling abroad. Not having traveled overseas due to COVID, Dimitro gladly paid the monthly fee of $50 for this excellent international roaming plan by T-Mobile even without using it for more than two years. The end of COVID restrictions made it possible to travel again for the first time after the pandemic. Like millions of other Americans, Makarov went on a trip abroad to celebrate travel and tourism and meet his relatives from Ukraine. He came back home to Hawaii about three weeks later. Mid-October after attending IMEX in Las Vegas he went on another trip to Europe to attend the Skal annual event in Croatia. This was followed by a private vacation to Turkey and Spain before attending the World Travel Market in London November 4-8. For both trips, he purchased three additional unlimited high-speed international roaming passes from T-Mobile to get faster internet access and free calls. The day Dimitro landed in Zagreb, he received three text messages from T-Mobile. Welcoming him to Croatia and explaining his phone service would work in Croatia as it would work at home. A message starting with good news. Your international unlimited high-speed internet access pass is good for another 29 days and is active in Croatia. A warning message saying he was in violation of T-Mobile roaming policies and that his phone service would be cut off if he did not return to the United States immediately. Dimitro called 611 and reached a T-Mobile expert based in the Philippine call center assuring him his phone service was fine and the text message was sent in error. Two weeks later another text message was received threatening his phone service would be cancelled if he continues to roam outside the U.S. Makarov called T-Mobile again and was assured once more by a supervisor this text message was a technical error and not to worry. The supervisor promised to also note his record to make sure there will be no issue with the service. Makarov continued his trip and the minute he landed in Ankara, Turkey on November 1 in the middle of the night, he was unable to call an Uber to get to the hotel or use Google Maps to find his way around. Two weeks into his international trip, his T-Mobile phone service was cut off by T-Mobile without further warning. E-Turbo News publisher Jürgen Steinmetz, who was on the same T-Mobile account and was traveling in Germany at the time contacted T-Mobile to learn, Dimitro was in violation of T-Mobile's extreme roaming policy. Roaming services would not be restored, even though everything was paid in full on the account. Furthermore, Steinmetz was told all complaints need to be submitted in writing to the T-Mobile executive team, but not by email, but by regular mail. This executive team also had no phone number. In the meantime, Makarov remained stranded without access to his U.S. phone and his lifeline while in Turkey. Stranded in an unfamiliar foreign country without a phone becomes a safety and security issue, but the T-Mobile team of experts were not impressed. When asked how much extra could be paid for T-Mobile to restore service, there was no amount of money the U.S. phone company would accept. The E-Turbo News editorial team reached out to T-Mobile Press Relations and received this response. I understand you are currently traveling abroad, and as such, I want to be respectful of any time difference. I have reviewed your account and confirmed the mobile number ending in 4698 has been blocked from roaming internationally, and I certainly understand the frustration this matter may cause. 
Please note that in an effort to continue to provide all T-Mobile customers with the highest quality of service, T-Mobile periodically reviews service quality and other network usage patterns. We strive to ensure that T-Mobile customers, wherever possible, are using T-Mobile's network to handle the majority of their wireless communications needs. This assures customers that their communications experience is the very best we can offer and permits T-Mobile to offer fair and competitive prices while delivering high-quality service to our customers. With that, extended use while roaming may result in accounts being flagged as extreme roamer reduction air, accounts. Air accounts have at least one line that is domestically or internationally roaming off the T-Mobile network, with usage greater than 50% for three months. T-Mobile notifies these customers of a data block being added to their account or termination of their service for violation of T-Mobile's terms and conditions. This information is detailed within our terms and conditions of service at www.t-mobile.com, and we regret if any misunderstanding was provided to you regarding our off-network roaming policies. Our records indicate that the subscriber of the mobile number ending in 4698 was first notified of excessive roaming by SMS on August 21, 2022. A 60-day warning was provided via SMS on September 19, 2022, and a final warning was provided via SMS on October 14, 2022. As our records reflect efforts were not made to curb international roaming by primarily utilizing Wi-Fi, on November 1, 2022, the ability to roam internationally was restricted. I truly regret any inconvenience this matter has caused. In an effort to reach an amicable resolution, I have submitted a request to have the roaming block removed until you and your family return stateside, however, I regret I am unable to guarantee this request will be completed. I will follow up with you within 24 hours with additional information, please let me know if you have any additional questions or concerns you would like me to address in the interim of my next follow-up. You may contact me directly at 425-470-4973 or by replying to this email. I am available Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., Central Time. Sincerely, Jennifer Desalm Sr. Specialist, Team CEO, Customer Experience Obsessed. Both Steinmetz and Makarov tried to reach Jennifer numerous times without success. Voice messages left were not returned. After returning to the United States on November 18, E-Turbo News only found out by coincident when checking on an unrelated issue, that international roaming access to all their phones will stop completely on December 1. This forced the company to switch to another carrier. This included lines that had no international travel at all for many years. T-Mobile based this decision on a policy to avoid extreme roaming. This policy demands if you stay abroad for more than six weeks in a three-months period, you are in violation of T-Mobile's unlimited roaming policy and will be banned forever. In this case, Makarov traveled for about six weeks in a three-year period, but the two international trips were taken within a three-months window. This was enough for T-Mobile to force E-Turbo News staff to switch mobile services to another phone company after more than a decade of services. T-Mobile's international roaming promises are a safety threat and a lie. Dimitro Makarov, E-Turbo News. Don't go on a cruise and T-Mobile phone services. I am on a cruise. I left in March of 2022 and I am currently still overseas. On April 24, I received a message on my phone stating that the majority of the last two months of T-Mobile usage has been roaming internationally. Should it continue, my roaming usage will be blocked. My phone is how I contact home, check emails, etc. while overseas. I called customer support and was told to change the SIM card. I'm at a dead end and need a solution.